Hey, so this is my uh, Beretta 92X performance model, and um, I really have very few complaints with this. I'm really happy with it. The only major thing that I don't like all that much is actually the uh, setup of the frame safety. So um, you can see the uh, paddles there for the frame safety, and it's fairly easy to flip on and off. Um, if you're trying to do it quickly, you can come sometimes miss uh, flipping it on. Um, off is usually pretty easy, but your the main knuckle of my thumb at least just kind of barely misses that. So I can see it possibly being an issue. Um, the biggest issue with it is uh, whenever I'm doing some dry fire practice. Um, when I rack the slide, I prefer to rack it back here. And you can see my thumb just kind of hits that right side safety. And I kind of have to hold the gun in an awkward way. You can see the gun's unloaded, by the way. Um, so recently, Beretta started selling uh, different sized safeties on their website, on the Beretta USA website. So I bought one of each. I bought an extra large and I bought a small and I'm going to try to put the small on the right side and I'm going to try to put the extra large on the left side. See if that solves my issue and I will be right back. All right. I finally got it on. Um, have a few thoughts the uh right side i really like um it's pretty much completely out of the way now no problem there uh it's much smaller and i really do like that this side um i'm not too sure about the um the positive aspect of it is it's super easy to flip on and off um it's got a huge ledge there as you can see so you can really, I mean, you can really push down on it and that will probably give you even a little extra leverage on the gun when you're actually shooting it. And so that's a good thing. Um, the bad thing is this little lip right here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but right about there is where your, uh, your finger's going to ride when you rack the slide from either way. And... It hits your finger really bad so um, it almost makes it to the point where it's it's almost impossible to really rack the slide from the back serrations so I don't really like that at all um, what I might end up doing is taking it back off and actually grinding that off a bit because um, I do really like how positive that is but I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Um, cause it's a, I mean, these are $150 parts each. So, um, I'd really prefer not to go grinding on it if I didn't need to, but that's really not, that's not ideal having your thumb or your other finger. There you go. Just run right into it every time you try to rack the slide from the back serrations and I'm not too big of a fan from racking it up here it can be done but I don't like having to do remedial actions reaching that far forward and close to the barrel um, so I don't know I'm gonna think about it and uh, either go back to the medium size or Maybe grind that lip off. I think it'd be fine to grind it off because um, that's pretty meaty there, as you can see. So I don't think there'd be any problems with uh, reducing the strength of it too much or anything. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like if you guys are considering this. Uh, my thoughts if you're considering it. Um, and again, it just depends on what you're going to use the gun for. I mean, competition or just a range toy, which is what this is now. It's just a range toy. It's not too big of a deal, but if I was going to rely on this for competition, um, 
I don't know why you would use this gun for a self-defense gun, but hey, if you wanted to, I would probably not go with the extra large um, safety just because of this, this lip and it being so hard to, or so easy for your finger to slip right off and not get a real positive, um, positive grip on the uh, rear serrations there. So yeah, that's my thoughts. And uh, if I update it again, I will let you guys know. All right, have a good one.